Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make this beautiful Christmas party chandelier earrings. I'm sure that even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them because I provide a free pattern. Check description for useful resources and a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. Subscribe with the bell if you still haven't. Also like, share and comment. In this way you give me signals that you like my work and you want me to continue. Also you might want to support me in PayPal by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 ounce seed beads, red, golden and green. I'm also using earring findings. This is nylon Island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle, you could use size 10 or 12 similar sizes. And this is a free pattern that I provide and we're going to be working with it all the time. And these are scissors. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle. Later I will add more thread and I'll show you how. And now let's start. Okay guys, so this is the pattern I'm going to be working with all the time. So I will start making this row. I will start it with four red beads and then I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm starting my work with four red beads. I'm going to slide those down. I will leave here a small tail that later I will finish my work with by making some knots and cutting it. Okay, so as I have four beads, I go through two of them again and then backwards like this. Now I have two columns of beads next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction, guys. I'm going to take my pattern and consult with it. Now I need after these four that I added here in the beginning, two red, two yellow, two green, two red and two red. Okay, I'll do this up to here and I'll be back. Okay, I take two red beads. And I go back in circle through these reds that are already there, like that, and like that. Then, as I said, I need yellow, in this case golden. And I go back. Then I need green. And I do the same thing, go backwards through the golden and then through the green one again. Two red. And again, two red beads. I have this. Now I'm going to take again my pattern and what I did is that I added the beads up to here. And now I need green, yellow and three columns of two red beads. So I take a green. And what is yellow in my pattern is a golden, in fact. And three times red beads. Okay, and I finished this row and now I want to exit here out of this column. And because I want my thread to be in this direction to continue with my work. 
now let me consult with my pattern now i'm starting this row the second row and i started with four red beads and continue with yellow green red green red green yellow and again two red and two red beads okay let me take first four green four red beads and because i in this row i will have less beads than in this one that is why i'm making decreasing brick stitch and when i make decreasing brick stitch i always go through the second thread bridge when i start a new row so this is the first thread bridge and this is the second thread bridge that, that i'm gonna be going under all of the time and now I'm going under the second one, the second thread bridge that I have here. After that, I'm going through the two beads that are closer to the center of my work. And then I will make additional reinforcement. And in this case, just to be sure that everything is nice, tight and secure, I will also go through the previous row. You don't need to go through the previous row all the time, but in this step I'm doing it. So now guys, I have these four red beads added and I will continue with yellow, green, red, green. Take two goldens and go under the next thread bridge that I have on my way and go back through them then as i said i need two green go under the next thread bridge then i set two red beads and then two green beads And with these green beads, I reach the center of my row, okay? Then again, I will consult with my pattern, okay? I'm making this second row of two beads. And now I am here at this central green beads. So I need red, green, golden, red, red. Okay, now I have this row ready and I'm going to take my pattern again. Now I'm doing this third row and it starts with two red and two golden beads, then green, red, two greens, red, green, golden and red. Okay, I take two reds and two goldens. Okay, I take two reds and two goldens. And again, because I decrease, I'm going under the second thread bridge. You see, this is the first one and this is the second one and I'm going under it. Then I go through the beads that are closer to the center of my work. And after that, I reinforce. Why I reinforce? Because my beads, beads otherwise stretch and they don't look nice and don't sit nice. Green. Red. Always go under the next thread bridge. 
only in the first step I add 4 and then 2 by 2. Green. Green. Okay guys and I have this row finished and as you know I will consult again with my pattern. So I did three rows, this, this and this one and now I'm up to this row and I am at this side so I will start with yellow and green and continue with red, green, yellow, green, red, green and yellow which is golden in my case. So take two golden and two green, okay, and go under the second thread bridge. In this work we will be going always under the second thread bridge and reinforcing because we decrease our brick stitch, our double, our double brick stitch all the time. Like this. Now I'm taking my pattern and I will continue from here on. I, I added golden and green and I will continue red, green, golden, green, red, green and golden. Pause on this pattern, add the rest beads here from this row and I'll be back. Okay guys and I just did this row of my pattern. This row where the two goldens are in the middle, you see. Then I'm going to start this row with two goldens and two red beads, okay, this one. Okay, I'm taking two reds and two goldens and I go under the second thread bridge here, then backwards through these two red beads and reinforce after that I need two green beads go here also two goldens here. Okay my friends and I think you got the idea. So I'm up to here, up to this uh, golden bead, you see it is the same thing. I will add these beads here, green, red, yellow and I will continue with the next rows until I reach here and I will be back to show you the last row and how we attach the earring finding. So pause on this pattern guys, do it from here to the top and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm here at my last step. Now I need to make the last row which will consist of only two columns of two golden beads and how I add it. I take two golden beads, my earring finding and two golden beads and as I'm exiting here from this golden bead, I go under the second thread bridge counting from where I'm exiting. Here I have only two thread bridges but still the formula is the same. I'm going under the second one of them. Then what I need to do guys is go backwards through two of those goldens like this, like I did so many times before. So 
Even if there are only two thread bridges and two columns, it's all the same. And then I go back through these two because I want to reinforce them. Now, what I want to do is go in this direction through some beads. And here I want to make a knot and cut my thread and how I do this. I make here a loop. I go twice through the loop I've made. I pull. Then I go through the following few beads. And I cut my thread. Now guys, I will put my needle here on this side and I'll do the same thing. Okay, and I have my needle from this side. And I want to go here through some beads. I want to make a loop. And I want to go twice through the loop I've made. And pull. After that, go through some beads in this direction. And I'm going to cut this tail thread. And now, guys, I'm going to take a longer thread, another arm span of thread on my needle, and I'll be back to show you the chandelier part. Okay, guys, and I just added another long thread on my needle. And now I'm going to start the next chandelier part. And how I do this, I go here through these two beads, adding my new thread. And here I'm holding with my thumb this tail thread here. Then I do the same thing I showed you twice already. Make here a loop. go twice through the loop I've made, pull, go through two of those red beads and then cut this tail thread. Okay, now what I need to take here are seven red beads. Okay, I'm taking my seven. And as I'm ex exiting from one of the reds, I'm going in the neighbor one. Okay. And I pull. Then what I need to do next is go through the neighbor two green beads. Okay, and I'm going to take uh, 11 green beads. Okay, 11 of them. I'm sliding those beads down. And I'm going in the neighbor green bead. Okay. Then I go through these two golden beads. And I take 16 golden beads. Okay, it's 16. And by the way, I must warn you that you, if you use different beads than uh, those that I use, you might want to add or extract one or two beads while doing this. So your chandeliers stay nice around each other. Nicely fitting around each other. Okay. Now, if I mean, if your beads are larger, 
for example, the golden ones, maybe you should extract one, or if they are smaller, maybe you should add one more. But in my case, this is what works. After that, I'm going in the neighbor red beads. Then, guys, I'm taking 21 red beads. I slide them down and I go through the following red. Okay, again, if you need to add or extract beads so they stay in a better shape in your case, go ahead and do this. With my precious beads in these colors, this is what works. And what I want to do next is go through the neighbor two red beads. I'm going to take a long sequence of beads and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and what I took now are 4 red, 4 green, 11 golden, 4 green and 4 red beads. Okay, pick it up. And after that, I'm going here through these two red beads. If you, if you need, you just use your pliers to go through some of the beads. Okay. Now I have this. Then I'm going here in the last two red beads where I'm going to add my last long sequence of beads. Okay, guys, so what I'm taking here are 9 golden beads, 14 green beads, and 9 golden beads. Okay, and now what I do is that I go through these two red beads here that I have, and I pull. Okay. Then, guys, my earring is almost ready. I just need to make some knots and cut this tail thread. So I go in this direction through some beads, like this, and I make absolutely the same thing that I showed you before so many times, making a loop, going twice through the loop I've made, pulling, then I'm going through some beads in this direction, I cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my Christmas party chandelier earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button. And in this way, you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week, and you will be inspired often. You could also check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And a lot of work goes in this video, so you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the Christmas playlist that you see on your screens and continue watching.